Hello Cancer, welcome to your monthly intuitive read. This is Akia from December's Divine. Hello to all my December warriors. Um, hello to any new viewers, welcome to my channel. Um, we are doing the intuitive monthly um, reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, your overall energy for your reading is the world in reverse and the lovers okay this is gemini energy here this is also fixed energy um leo scorpio taurus and scorpio okay i said yeah scorpio leo taurus and aquarius okay um the world also represents Saturn, I believe. Yes, okay. And Saturn is direct. Um, so I'm going to be doing the readings a little bit different than I have typically. Um, they're going to be a little bit shortened. Um, the shifts that everyone is going through after the Pisces full moon and um, the Libra new moon intense shifts, intense ascension symptoms, um, and, you know, um, just trying to get everything in order. So the monthly intuitive readings for this month have been a little delayed. Um, there's no guarantee that I will get all of them out before the end of the month, but things will be back on track for next month. But I'm trying to pump the last few out um, over the next couple days, okay? Um, that being said, remember this is energy. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. Don't get too hung up on the genders of the cards. Um, I will call out signs when I feel the need to. You know, these signs are just relevant in this reading, but anyone can embody any of the signs um, and represent that energy. So don't be alarmed if this format is a little different than, than typically, um, and the, if the reading is a little bit shorter. Um, I tend to have more elaborate readings um, full of education and guidance so we're going to try to get right to the point of your energy um, this could be love family whatever comes through for you um, is what it is okay I don't date my readings so whenever you come across a reading just know that the reading is for you um, that you will find a message in that reading and if you don't that's okay too then it's not your message and um, just let the rest ride. Um, this is a general reading for the collective. Um, again, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Um, there may be a head over heart decision that needs to be made <clears throat> in regards to a specific issue, project, relationship, etc. Um, there may be A resistance at closing a chapter um, and we will get into that energy throughout the reading and we're gonna go right into getting a couple of um, Oracle cards to tie in for you guys cancer <clears throat> we're gonna use the literary Oracle which is one of my favorite Oracle decks to draw a card for you see what we can tie in for your energy during the period of cancer just doing one card one card for cancer sun moon rising and venus all knowing source divine spirit ascendant masters 5d ascendant masters are angels and ancestors 5d and above allow me to be the channel for clear precise and truthful messages for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. And the whole deck flies out. Octavia Butler, the future. Octavia Butler, the future. 
I do feel as though there is an important decision, decision that's needing to be made in regards to a divine connection or a calling um, on someone's life and there is possibly some stuck energy here, some reluctance to move forward or a holding on energy. Okay, so we're gonna find out what's happening. Yeah, I would like them to make some choices right now. A lot of emotions. Octavia E. Butler, The Future. Interesting. Okay. This card represents in the guide Imagining, planning, worrying about the future. Imagining, planning, worrying about the future. Wow, Cancer. Um, there is some very deep contemplating going on in regards to some sort of um, deep soul bond, bonded relationship. Um, there is some reluctance about um, where this situation is taking you. Could be possibly about a career or a relationship. Um, a lot of reluctance, okay? Like I said, the world is, is a fixed energy and it's in reverse for you guys. So there could be somebody who's kind of stuck. Um stuck in their mind, stuck in worry, stuck in some sort of cycle. Someone reluctant to, to take that final step, okay, um, into the future. Um, it's a lot of regrets. Someone's kind of lacking closure, having some doubts. Um, but it's time to go full circle with something, okay? Let's find out. <clears throat> Octavia E. Butler, 1947 to 2006. Those numbers may mean something to somebody. The daughter of a housekeeper and a shoe shiner was a pioneer in the very white and male dominated genre of science fiction. She received a MacArthur Fellowship for her dark philosophical novels and stories which feature black female protagonists and explore power dynamics among sexes, races, and species. Interesting. Imagining, planning, worrying about the future. Yeah, cancer. There's something about a divine soul connection or career path, <clears throat> a personal decision that Has you worried you have put a lot of focus on this particular situation and
yeah, it's time to make a head over heart decision in regards to the situation. We're going to go deeper into what this is. But there is definitely reluctance here. There is some self-doubt, some worry. But you have a deeper understanding of... A lot more than you did when you started the situation and something is about to come full circle once you make once you move past some doubts okay some self doubts and, and some regrets okay lovers world in reverse okay reluctance planning and worry about the future now we're going to quickly draw a sacred spirit card for cancer before we go into your overall energy Blockages when it comes to taking action. Cancer. There are some blockages. Um, yeah. You guys are afraid of taking a risk on a particular situation. You're finding the strength. You're finding the strength because you've been strategizing and you've been pretty focused on this um situation but there's some blockages and delays okay sacred spirit card for cancer please one card one sacred spirit card one sacred spirit card Astral travel. Caution is needed. There's a lot of purple in this card. A lot of crown chakra activation. Maybe there's a blockage in your intuition and your higher um, knowledge in your um, yeah, there's there's something blocking your knowing. It's a knowing here, and there's some sort of block. Um, I think, Cancer, that you are really stuck on the planning and the strategizing, um, the protection of your ideas, of your heart. You're you're really focused on in the 3D, but not allowing your higher self to guide you. Um, you are. Now allowing yourself to let go and trust the process, so to speak. But this is number three, okay? Number three is all about ascending, ascendant master numbers. Three is all about connection with, um, you know, The mind body and the spirit being connected okay to your higher self um so we're gonna read about this card for cancer astral travel
astral travel. Caution needed. Observe your surroundings. Astral travel can be described as a willful out-of-body experience, allowing a person to ob observe their physical surroundings, entering the gateway to the astral plane or astral realm with intention is a careful practice that must be aligned with intention, clarity, and soulful purpose. A sacred portal to hidden realms assessing the astral body allows you to travel and experience different realms of consciousness and universal experiences. Clairvoyance, psychic abilities, and spiritual communication all require astral realm connection. The Akashic records exist within this realm and are guarded by sacred light keepers. With any astral travel, it is recommended to have a travel buddy with you, such as an ascended master or archangel for added spiritual safety. Primarily, an astral experience allows individuals to be an observer, a witness to surroundings such as environments, past events, people, and our own forgotten experiences. including those long before our physical sense of visual or memory recall. Returning from an astral experience can leave everlasting impressions in our waking life or can leave you physically out of balance. While the soul is still tethered to our physical body via an invisible energetic silver cord, anchoring the soul back into our physical body often requires a physical reset through spiritual or holistic practices. Astral information and experiences are affected by fear-based thoughts and energy frequencies. Keep your vibration high and alert your senses to any unwanted energetic connections that can influence you in a negative and spiritual abusive way. Right now, you are being asked to keep your spiritual radio tuned to listen for unwanted interference. Observe your surroundings and be aware of manipulation by others through psychic energy speech and planned social meetings caution is required in all areas of communication keep sensitive information confidential cancer and mind you if you're a cancer moon definitely cancer in general is a very very intuitive sign okay and you're ruled by the moon so if you're a cancer moon and of course, all cancers, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, maybe even Mercury, maybe even Mars. But for sure, with the moon in general, um, keep your vibrations high and alert your senses to any unwanted energetic connections that can influence you in a negative and spiritual abusive way. Caution is required in all areas of communication. Keep sensitive information confidential. Shadow aspects during this period. Be mindful of demonstrated lack of understanding and awareness of personal experience. Sacral crystal. Labr Labradite. Labradorite, I'm sorry. Angel assistance, Archangel Michael. Will guide you in spiritual protection and safe travel. Affirmation, I am divinely protected. My soul is safe to explore my path with ease and grace. I am divinely protected. My soul is safe to explore my path with ease and grace. Number three, astral travel. Caution needed. Observe your surroundings. Cancer. Protect your energy. In this card, you might be, I'm feeling like you might be wanting to protect your future in regards to a divine soulmate connection or divine twin flame connection okay um i mean you see in this card all types of images and illusions and even a snake with a voodoo doll and it's just just protect your energy during this period this 
in my opinion, it's just a, a protective circle. Um, and when the world is upside down, it's like a trap. When it's upright, it's like a protection. So it's like, um, this card is all about planning and then worrying about the future. So, Octavia Butler received a MacArthur Fellowship for her dark philosophical novels and stories. Dark philosophical stories. So, with the caution card and trusting your intuition and being very mindful of who is energetically connected to you during this period cancer is just very much um just a caution but you may have reason to be worried about something during this period um you are protected but you need to definitely be aware um of the energies and the people and the situations that you are um, surrounding yourself with during this period, okay? Um, to protect your future, to protect yourself in general, um, to protect your energy. And that should always be the case. But definitely during this period, Cancer. Okay, we're gonna get right into some overall energy for you. I'm gonna try to keep the reading under 35 minutes if possible. right away and we're going to get three more cards for cancer's overall energy i'm sorry cancer's um current energy recent pass to current the current energy recent pass to current for cancer sun moon rising Venus. current energy Star. Okay. Bottom of the deck, judgment. Okay. This is um Pluto energy. Um can have Scorpio in your chart. Um this is definitely all about reevaluating um and purging. being renewed and freeing yourself from things that find you and hinder you possibly an awakening possibly a um, new level of ascension but definitely a call um, to step up um, in some aspect of your life and you know personal things that would hinder you from being renewed and that does not serve your highest good okay wow okay your current energy okay we have Aquarius energy here with the star we have scorpionic energy um, here with the Duff card and we have such as here is energy here with the eight of wands and so we do have fire air and Water Okay, so your current energy here uh, cancer is that you're moving forward. Okay um, Passionately wanting to move forward Okay um, possibly in a partnership um, in a business partnership, in a divine twin flame union, um, toward a higher calling. Um, you're trying to change your life in many aspects, um, trying to move on toward your future. Um, there is going to be some fast forward movement and communication. Um, there has been some
attempts to really step into a new part of your life and future but there's some resistance here with the um the death card in reverse here um this is an indication of resistance um to change i can't i do believe that someone is trying to shed the old version of themselves whether that's awakening whether that's you know getting rid of old conditionings trying to move forward in love in a love situation or a career situation or just you know really changing their life and you know really letting go of the old becoming someone new and just breaking old habits etc um someone really is passionate about moving forward um But there is an obsessive energy around you, Cancer. Um, that is kind of causing resistance and stagnation and trying to prevent this forward movement and keep you immobile. This could be you Scorpio, um, having some issues with this transformation, but I have, this could be you battling yourself, um, cancer, but I, I don't see that. You have the eight of wands here, you have the star, so there is healing, there is a desire to heal, okay with this um this dark card here but there is something causing resistance okay there is some fear still there's some reluctance still okay to step into this new um area of your life this new beginning um you you want to be renewed you are hopeful um you are gaining clarity wanting to move past confusion and negativity it's time you're you're trying to look within you're trying to um embrace new ideas and you're trying to grow and move forward um but there is still some resistance here uh, that either you or someone else is fixed in their ways and there is something or someone pulling you back into a cycle but there is positivity here there is a desire to change to move forward and to accept a call here okay cancer all right, we're going to clarify. Clarify the star, please. Okay. Um... Four of Pentacles, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Cancer. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, holding on, <clears throat> holding on, um, to your energy, uh, uh that is influencing your ability to move toward this new beginning. Someone's holding on to you to prevent you from reaching this clarity or this could be 
you cancer with some Taurus in your chart that's just really trying to take control of your life really fighting for your security okay <clears throat> let's clarify the death card in reverse why is death in reverse one card please why is death in reverse here three of wands i did say that a resistance four of wands fire energy um aries leo sagittarius there is definitely a a delay here. Um, there's some sort of obstacles. It could be an obstacle with a fire sign or a, um, yeah, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, there could be some sort of, there could be someone that's creating obstacles. There could be someone who's disappointed with your um, desire to move past tradition or move past some sort of um, old conditioning. Um, so yeah, there is delays, <clears throat> disappointment around your transformation. And either someone, earth sign, is trying to hold on, um, to prevent your transformation here and to prevent you from gaining clarity and, um, healing, or it could be you just hanging on and trying to heal and trying to hang on to um, whatever it is that this star represents for you, whether it's um, someone who is a healing energy around you, you're trying to hang on to that, to hang on so that you can continue to um, move forward. Or like I said, there is someone that is threatened or disappointed by your transformation and is um, creating delays and holding on to you. Clarify the Eight of Wands, please, for Cancer's current energy. Okay, we have two. We'll take them. Wow, the Empress. Okay. The Empress came out with the hermit okay this is a virgo energy with the hermit and with the empress this is taurian or libran energy um or divine feminine energy but the way this came out okay with this hermit card this is a this is telling me that <sighs> you cancer are could have Virgo in your chart once again um, or Earth in your chart but you are going within you're shining a light on your your actions of the past you're trying to change you're trying to transform you're asking the divine for for help um, for guidance and you are taking time away to really focus on transformation on moving forward on changing your habits and ways and looking into what your purpose is you are wanting to move forward um quickly um you're trying to travel you're trying to get away to move on and there is a empress in reverse this could be um you know um mother energy or or a um mother of your child or definitely uh, the empress is typically a mothering figure um not always but with these two cards here this is the energy that I pick up on and the Empress in reverse is very disconnected and resisting. Um, there is someone embodying this Empress in reverse energy that is um, causing resistance. Um, to your enlightenment and your forward movement. Okay, bottom of the deck, what do we have? Yeah, um, bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands and um, this is in relation to um, a union, okay? There is, it's kind of bringing it all together, okay? In your current, your overall energy is this um, 
lover's card um all about a divine soulmate connection divine twin flame connection with the world in reverse okay um a cycle coming to completion you know all efforts coming to full front but it's in reverse so it's all about possibly being stuck not being able to move forward into the future kind of stuck in a cycle um so yeah there is energy um around you that's causing resistance and um um impress and reverse energy that is not wanting the light to be shed on um age information here or not wanting you to gain clarity and possibly around a a union this is the four of wands okay 11 11 um all about celebrations all about um bringing some sort of promise to fruition okay let's see what's coming through for cancer no actually what is the conflict for cancer what is causing cancer Conflict for cancer. What is causing cancer? Major conflict for my cancer. Major conflict for my Cancerian. Sun and rising and Venus. One card, please. Conflict for cancer. Interesting. Conflict for you, Cancer, during this period. <clears throat> vampire vampire the deepest the coldest the craving of the blood the hole never filled the longing like a flood the deepest the coldest the craving of the blood the hole never filled the longing like a flood this is what's causing you cancer there is someone around you okay it says emotional intelligence It's time to use your 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 emotional intelligence and someone is manipulating your emotions and someone is like an energetic vampire around you if someone is holding on preventing your forward movement preventing you from making a head-over-heart decision um, for you know very much threatened and disappointed by your transformation by your the clarity that you're gaining, okay? The vampire is an interesting figure because it is both horrifying and desirable. Having someone want us so much that they desire to be that closely linked with us it does feel good until we realize there is nothing much left of us to give. Most of us have heard of the concept of emotional vampirism, the idea that people feed off your energy and our goodwill and take advantage of us through manipulation and their, in and their incessant neediness. Should the vampire card appear in your reading, it may indicate that you are being drained in this way and the time has come for stronger boundaries. We need to be very aware of what gives us energy in our lives and what takes it away. We should be aware of needing people to need us and why we invite people like this into our homes, workplaces, and lives, if indeed we have them around us. Developing the emotional intelligence within ourselves helps us defend against this kind of emotional and psychic attack and enables us to foster healthy, equal relationships of all kinds. That's what's con crossing you during this period. That's your conflict. Cancer. Okay, someone rising Venus, please just protect your energy. Like it says here, caution is needed. Manipulation. Okay, people who are using blackmail, people who are using your past to hold you hostage. Okay, okay, people who are manipulating your emotions to keep you around. That's not healthy. That's toxic. Okay. That's what you need to be aware of during this period. That's your conflict. We're going to see who's coming through for you, Cancer. All right. Who or what is coming through for my Cancers? Okay. Who? Okay. The Hierophant. 
okay this is um, Taurian energy here okay so it's possible that a Taurus is coming through um, a heavily in, um, influenced uh, Taurian um, or with Taurus in their chart is coming through for you cancer you could be dealing with the Taurus bottom of the deck this could be revolving around commitment or lack thereof or um, <clears throat> Um, some sort of power power dynamic okay whoever's coming through for you could definitely be a um earth sign or a fire sign um taurus capricorn virgo aries leo sagittarius this is an indication of um someone coming through for you that is ready to um have relief all right this is the ten of wands um there's been a lot of burden and a lot of stress with this person um even oppression okay either you know you or them this person coming through feels like there's been a burden maybe they have put a lot of burdens on you um a lot of oppression um but they are wanting um relief i'm wanting to simplify the situation maybe even avoid okay there may be some immaturity involved with this person um but this person um is working very hard at something okay with the eight of pentacles here okay eight of pentacles is all about um you know concentration focus so whoever's coming through for you possibly earth or fire um is not balanced <clears throat> This is Ace of Cups in reverse. This is Cancerian Pisces or Scorpionic energy. Um, the Ace of Cups is all about a um, compassion, about a pure divine love, new beginnings, creativity. In reverse, this is repressed emotions, okay? Someone is upset about a separation or an ending. Someone <clears throat> is feeling very vulnerable. Um, and um, very very unhappy a lot of repressed emotions and this could be surrounding a um past life connection or a soulmate connection this um person coming through for you cancer okay could have fire or earth in their chart um or possibly water in their chart but it could be a family member because the six of cups is all about soulmate connections past life connections you know soulmates can be family members or this could be about a obviously a twin flame union we have the lovers card out for you cancer we have um we have the empress we also had the four of wands um so yeah there is definitely a divine connection involved here somewhere so you know there could be someone in your energy that is manipulative and that is causing blocks surrounding um a connection and um that seems to be the theme during this period but um yeah this could be about a twin flame or past life connection that someone is working very hard okay at separating or not having to come to fruition okay <clears throat> but someone is definitely wanting some sort of relief um there's some immaturity kind of coming around coming through with these cards um uh, there's someone very much focused okay on an ending whether that's an ending that you have with them or creating an ending or or um preventing some sort of action being taken towards something new okay but or someone is focused on avoiding the fact that they're disappointed about someone else focusing and having nostalgia about a connection okay but we're going to get clarity on these cards here clarify the
Ace of Cups. Someone is disappointed, has repressed emotions. <clears throat> very much upset about an ending okay we have the moon here and someone is ready to illuminate and Someone is no longer wanting to repress their emotions. They want something to be illuminated in regards to a union, okay? This is the 11-11 card. This is um, Twin Flames. This is just a sort of some sort of celebration. But someone is no longer wanting to repress their emotions or keep secrets. Something needs to be illuminated in regards to this connection, okay? This is Piscean energy here. This is Scorpionic energy. This is water energy in general, definitely. Um, fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So whoever's coming through is repressing their emotions in regards to a union or um, wanting to illuminate something. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands in reverse, please. Yeah. Someone's, you know, um, no longer wanting to avoid um, a situation. Uh, someone has um, dealt with a lot of burdens and they want relief, they want resolution. Um, they're focused on releasing the burdens. They're focused on starting a new cycle, okay? Um, they're trying to move past blockages. They're really focused on trying to move past this stagnant, energy they're trying to move past this energy of lack of not being able to move forward um yeah someone whoever's coming through is not happy okay it's coming to me they're not, they're not happy about a this divine union and someone feels very vulnerable and someone wants to illuminate something okay in regards to this union remember this energy is around you cancer there's someone manipulative around you that is an energy vampire okay someone is very focused okay um, someone is avoiding um, a situation um, someone is focused on relieving someone of their discontentment this is the four of cups Someone is unhappy about someone's um, discontent, someone's inability to receive them, okay? Someone senses someone's energy is going elsewhere. Someone's focus is elsewhere. Someone is very upset that someone, possibly you, Cancer, um, energy is not focused on them, okay? And that someone's at the end of a burden, wanting relief, and is um, depleted, okay? Depleted. And that no matter what happens, you know, someone is, is no longer giving anything to the situation.
are the Six of Cups, please? Yeah, a lot of holding on. You don't have to worry, Cancer. You are going to move forward, okay? You have all the cards that show that you are, okay? You're shining a light on yourself, on your situation. You're seeking guidance. You are going through some sort of transformation, even though there are people in your energy field that are holding on. You have the star in upright, okay? You are trying to heal. You are moving forward. You are becoming more and more aware of the light within you. You are someone that's holding on, but... There is going to be some sort of victory here. You are at the end of a cycle. It's all about really digging deep, connecting with your true self, trusting your intuition, and finding that strength to kind of take that last step. But you really need to be cautious during this period because there is quite a bit of stagnant energy around you, okay? Trying to kind of hold you back a little bit, okay? Someone knows that you are very much discontent and focused on relieving these burdens, okay? That you're not content with settling. You don't even you don't want the cups that's being offered to you okay you're focused on moving past these burdens but someone in your energy is kind of holding on it may be a sense of commitment that you feel that you owe someone, but someone is not being truthful. Someone is being very manipulative and using your past to manipulate you. Please clarify the Six of Cups, please. Who is the Six of Cups? Could be Earth sign, a Taurian. Virgo Capricorn. Okay. This um, Six of Cups being clarified by the Two of Pentacles um, in reverse. So, yeah, this definitely is competition around you. There is interference, disharmony, and someone definitely that you know. Um, I believe a family member because of the Six of Cups here or some sort of soulmate connection or some sort of... Um, person um is you know is creating this um stagnant energy around you moving forward someone is trying to keep you stuck in karmic cycles so that you cannot move forward toward um a divine connection which is your focus you're focused on the future and someone is trying to um hold you back in the past cancer okay like i said oh this could definitely just be someone you know earth sign creating you know tension around um you having nostalgic feelings about a past life connection okay this just could be an earth energy preventing this this um divine connection um and is creating a lot of um manipulation around you and sucking your energy Trust your higher self and your intuition during this period, Cancer. We're going to do um, a message from the divine for you. <clears throat> We're just going to do some oracle cards for you. I'm going to get a divine message. Some advice for our, our Cancerians. Thank you. 
555. Let me get a message for cancer. Some advice for cancer. you can sir five by five on the clock divine change king of wands the divine is telling you that you need to take control of your life control of your future you are the major influence of influencer of your life cancer you have high intuition okay trust it protect your energy during this period but go forward like a leader that you are passionately and creatively and go after what it is that you want like the king of wands would do fire energy okay go after what you want Trust your intuition, whether that's a divine love connection, whether that is um, um, onto greener pastures, onto your star potential, healing, growing. Protect your energy and everything that you desire is on the other side of allowing yourself to transform, cutting off the energy of those who no longer serve you. You have the judgment card. Wow. Bottom of the deck. Protecting yourself from this. Possibly a Capricorn. Or like I said, don't confuse Capricorn with being a devil. That's just a card that represents Capricorn. Capricorn could be involved with Capricorn. Could be um, in this um, situation as far as keeping you in this karmic cycle here. Or it could be attachments to um, low vibrational energies, obsessions, addictions, etc. Okay, but you're moving past that. Okay, you're moving past that cancer. All right, and um, you have the strength to do it with the King of Wands here. The Divine wants you to know that for sure. What else for cancer? Bust out of your cocoon. There are energies around you, possibly family members, okay, who are threatened by you, Virgo. I don't know why I said Virgo. You're a Cancerian, but this card represents Virgo, okay, the hermit. You could have Virgo in your chart, or you could be dealing with a Virgo, but this is the card that's represented by Virgo, the hermit, going within, shining a light, seeking spiritual guidance, okay? Bust out of your cocoon of your con old conditionings, of your habits, um, of the fear of independence, of the fear of st stepping into your power, of having your own ideas. Bust out of your cocoon. Shine your light. Shine your light. Do what you love. Do what you love. Focus on success. Keep your mind on the things that make you happy. Focus on your career, on forward movement. Don't let those around you manipulate you, um, drain your energy. Say no. Say no. Don't let others take advantage of you. 
stay in your power. And lastly, Cancer, choose friends wisely. That's all I have for you guys, okay? I hope this was helpful. Um, just a reminder for you guys to definitely choose friends wisely, but um, connect with yourself spiritually, okay? Try to find balance. Protect your energy during this period. Focus on yourself, I think is definitely important. And learning to say no. All right, Cancer. All right, if you resonate with any parts of this reading, feel free to like, subscribe, comment. I love you guys so, so much. And stay strong. Um, you will be successful. Your future will be fine. Don't worry, don't stress, trust your intuition. And just know that even in the twilight of the darkest and coldest night of December, remember that you'll be fine. Nothing can stop what's truly divine. Bye.